Today, we are talking about acidic and alkaline foods. Whatever stage of your life you are in right now, this will affect everything. The optimum pH level for your body is 7.36 and what you put in your mouth will dramatically affect that. But what is the real good stuff and what is the really bad stuff? This is the real secret to weight loss. Hi, my name is Sam Woodrow and welcome to Elite Body and Mind. On this channel, we improve your overall lifestyle. So if you're new here, consider subscribing down below so you can become part of the EBM community. The pH level of your body is massively important on your health. Every part of your body has a different pH requirement, but the blood affects all over your body. So I'm going to focus on that. pH stands for potential of hydrogen. In the universe, we have protons and electrons. In your body, you also have protons and electrons. If you have more protons in your cells, your cells are more acidic and you do not want that. On a special pH scale that goes from 0 to 14, scientists can measure how acidic something is or how alkaline something is. What you have to remember is acid is below 7 and alkaline is above 7. So the more acidity, the lower the pH, but the more alkaline, the higher the pH. You are made up of billions of different cells. These cells do not perform well in acidic environment. This is because disease can start to grow and hinder the cell's performance. When your body has a pH less than 7.36, you have less than the maximum oxygen potential in your blood. So essentially, you don't have the maximal amount of oxygen within your blood. This creates space for bacteria, mold or viruses to develop and grow, which is exactly what happens every time you get ill. Have you ever tried to lose weight by going to the gym and then blamed it on your metabolism that nothing's happened? Well, you're kind of right, but not 100%. Let me explain. Have you ever heard the phrase, you can't outrun a bad diet? Well, here's the science behind that true statement. When you eat poorly, you reduce your pH level, which creates an acidic environment. In acidic environments, you can't get as much oxygen due to the lack of space in your blood cells. Lower oxygen levels equals a slower metabolism, which means you will have little or no weight loss at all. Also, if you're going to the gym and performing fast exercises, so exercises that take less than 10 seconds, otherwise known as anaerobic exercises, you are producing lactic acid within your body, which lowers your pH level even further. But your body is really smart and it has a fail safe. What it does, it retains water and stores the acidic cells as fat cells. To do this though, the body must deplete its calcium stores, which means you are going to feel tired and much more lethargic. Over time, calcium depletion will affect your bones, your teeth and your tissue health, which if it continues will mean you will die. This is because calcium release is the first stage in the process of movement. Not something that you want to happen. The normal pH level of a human is between 6 and 7.5. But what's the real and the most major cause of the pH acidity? If your diet contains low levels of fibre, you eat a lot of meat, 
from non-grass-fed sources, or you eat processed and refined food, you will have a high acidic environment within your body. Your health is one of four keys to life's progress. Do not underestimate it and do not under any circumstances neglect it. Lucky for you, you don't have to. Here are some alkaline foods that will help improve your body's pH. Mushrooms, green vegetables and lemon water. Stop thinking you're overweight. Start thinking you've got too much acid in your body. The main thing that you need to remember are that green foods are great, particularly avocados. But you can eat what you want as long as you maintain a pH around 7.36. That way, you'll be fine. But how do you measure your pH? I'm glad you asked. To be honest, it's really easy and takes less than 30 seconds a day. I would recommend doing it on a regular basis every day and in the morning first thing. The most accurate way is pea strips, but you can also do a saliva test. All you do, lick the strip, wait, wave it around or put it in some water for 15 seconds and then compare it to a pH chart. 30 seconds and you're done. If you like to try either the pea strips or the saliva test, then in the description I have linked the best ones I can find on the entire market. So go try them out. If you've been taking notes, this needs to go at the top. All you have to do is remember this. Sugar equals acid. So the more sugar in your diet, the more acid you will have. Now you know the real secret of weight loss. If you enjoyed this video, please remember to subscribe down below and hit the bell notification so you can become part of the EBM community. Also, if you do want to check your pH, remember the two links are in the description below. So go check them out. It's quick, it's easy, it's cheap, and it could change your life. But until next time, as always, thanks for watching.